Welcome to this episode of Showcase Wedding. I'm your host, Rebecca Martell. In this episode, I'm gonna introduce you to business owners in all areas of the wedding industry that wanna create your dream wedding. My name is Meredith Hand. I'm Business Development Manager with Sandals and Beaches Resorts, um, which is of course within a division of Unique Vacations Canada. And I'm very happy to be here to present a little bit of information about Sandals and Beaches Resorts, which is the world's number one all-inclusive company for uh, 22 years in, in a row now, uh, voted by the World Travel Awards. So it all began in 1981. Uh, we are actually a Jamaican company, which a lot of people are unaware of. We started in 1981, so 37 years ago now. And we started as a tiny little resort in Montego Bay. And we've now expanded to include six, six different islands all over the English-speaking Caribbean. You'll find 16 different sandals properties to choose from. And what we really specialize in is romance. So it's all about romance when you go to our properties because all sandals resorts have been and always have been for couples only. So our tagline is love is all you need. And because romance is really our specialty, we really focus, of course, on destination weddings and honeymoons. This is something that we're really well versed at and we really enjoy watching our clients go through the process of saying I do and making that day a very special one for them. So our brand itself uh, actually has two property brands that we that we mainly represent when it comes to our weddings and our, and our honeymoons. So Sandals Resorts is the original resort that opened 37 years ago in Montego Bay and Sandals Resorts actually became so popular um, and we had many people of course having children and they decided they wanted to bring them to Sandals but because Sandals is adults only, couples only actually, we had to open a second brand called Beaches Resorts by Sandals. So we do offer incredible wedding, free wedding packages at both Sandals as well as Beaches Resorts. So if you are looking at bringing children to your wedding, of course, that is something you can look at as well if they're going to be staying on the resort with you. You can look at Beaches Resorts instead of Sandals. It's the same quality of service, the same wedding inclusions that we're talking about, but just allowing, of course, all ages, including those under 18. When a couple decides to book their wedding package or their honeymoon when they go to a Sandals or a Beaches resort, uh, it really isn't done in a package per se. Um, our packages uh, really don't exist because what we really do is make sure that every single experience for the bride and groom is unique. So we take each couple, we sit down with them, we go through an entire process uh, when we plan their wedding. So we make sure they have their wedding concierge, they have an entire team on property as well. We're really making sure every single uh, aspect of their wedding and their honeymoon experience is unique. So for the wedding, some of the things that they want to look at, of course, obviously, flowers. So we have over 200 different types of flowers you can choose from. We do have a few creative ideas that we can present to the bride and groom of, of some, some options for, for tableware, for, again, flowers, for uh, decor, uh, of course, different locations, such as being on um, the beach, of course, would be the most obvious ones. We have some incredible lush garden locations. So really what the bride and groom can do is really mix and match from hundreds of different options to really customize their wedding. So what you can really experience when you're at one of our properties is say if you were there and there were a couple weddings that day, we can almost guarantee those two weddings are gonna look completely different. Whereas, you know, some other uh, properties, they might be a little more standardized. At Sandals and Beaches, there's absolutely nothing standard about our wedding experience. So what's included, uh, if you stay three nights or more at a Sandals or Beaches property, you actually have your wedding for free. So your free wedding includes things like, um, of course, your florals, your centerpiece, you have a uh, reception dinner, which includes sparkling wine and hors d'oeuvres. You, of course, have your Chiavari chairs with your cushions as well. You also have, I mean, the list goes on and on. You also have uh, your manicure for the bride and a foot massage for the groom. There is a list of, you know, well over a dozen different options that are included and unlimited um, at our properties within the wedding experience, but within the resort as well. And that's something that's really special about our properties. We don't even allow, allow tipping on our properties with the exception of our butler and our spa uh, staff, that's it. Nobody can be tipped on our properties. So the inclusions within the weddings and within the resorts themselves are really incredible um, and, and are not only included, but also unlimited during the client's stay. 
So the unique honeymoon accommodations that you will find at our properties um, vary and it really depends on what the client is looking for. So within each Sandals and Beaches property, our properties themselves all have different personalities. So it's really great to work with a travel agent who can really help narrow it down for you. One couple's favorite Sandals would be the opposite for the next couple that you talk to. It's really not cookie cutter, so you wanna make sure you match the right property, and then from there you get into the nitty gritty with the accommodations. So the accommodations vary greatly again, and you wanna make sure you're in the right room that you're looking for. So some of the things that we have are, are incredibly exciting over the water suites. That's been a Caribbean first for us. We introduced these beautiful villas that are over the water. They have glass bottom floors. They come fully staffed with your private team of two butlers. Um, they vary in, in size from about 800 to well over 1600 square feet. And they are the top level suites. We also have some incredible suites that are called sky pool suites. So you literally roll out of your king size bed, you walk a few steps and you're right there on one of the fourth or fifth floors for example, in Grenada, and you have this beautiful infinity pool with a glass edge right off of your room, but on one of the top floors of the building. So you can imagine the sunrise, the sunset, just watching it from a, from a sky pool suite off of your bedroom. Um, the rooms, of course, also something we're very famous for is our love nest suites. And our love nest suites are, are rooms that we particularly select and recommend for someone looking for the ultimate romance vacation, whether that be a honeymoon, a wedding, or both, or whether it just be a romantic trip for the two of you, these love nest suites really feature specific touches that make the, the, the guest room itself or the suite extremely romantic for, for the couple involved. Uh, so something if you are interested, you can actually go to sandals.com to our, our wedding site. You just click on weddings from sandals.com or beaches.com. And when you go there, if you click on weddings, there's actually a wedding planning process there where you can go through and see all the different options and kind of figure out kind of what interests you and start the planning process, which can, can of course be really exciting. And from there, of course, you can reach out to a travel a professional, of course, as well. And, and they can help you figure out exactly which resort, which room type options that you're looking for. Of course, our website, as well as our YouTube channel, though, are great first resources to check out and, and then reach out to your preferred travel professional from there. Now in studio, I get to introduce you to Jeff Nee. He is the owner and operator of Atlantic Pro DJ. Thank you so much for joining me. Well, thanks for having me. First and foremost, I always ask, what's the little background story on you and your company? Well, I uh, originally started in Newfoundland and uh, moved over here in 2001 and uh, started the DJ business and it's really taken off and we've been in business now for about 16 years or 17 years. And it's not just you, you have other team members? Yeah, we actually have a crew of six DJs and uh, some of the guys have worked for me for over 10 years and a uh, great bunch of fellas. So because you have quite a big team, I'm sure everybody has their own style and how does that help out when you're choosing who to send to what wedding? Sure, well, every couple has different expectations as to the kind of music they want. So we often try to match up the DJs with the couples in regards to sometimes their age. If it's a mature couple, we'll send them a, a mature DJ. That makes uh, sense. Yeah, yeah. and uh, every DJ through life experiences has specialty genres that they know more about. Uh, so for example, if we have a younger couple who wants more of a club experience, we'll send it a DJ that, that's experienced in club music. We're all good at playing the best of each genre, but when a couple wants more of a certain genre, we try to match it up with them. You actually use your website to help with questionnaires to find the right person, don't you? Yeah, that's right. We actually have a client login area, and the couple gets to log in there, and they get to use several tools that are in there. One of them is a request tool, so they get to go in and search a database of music and make a list of songs they like, songs they love, and everybody's favorite is songs they hate. So a top 10 don't play list. Exactly. The Bird Dance, Macarena, the YMCA, and so forth, usually. Uh, but they get to give us those playlists and that gives us an idea of what they like and love. And in a lot of cases, we'll look at that list and then match them up with an appropriate DJ. Uh, there's also a planning form in there which asks all kinds of questions from who's dancing with who and what song do they want, all the formal aspects of the wedding. Uh, if they want a song played while we're cut they're cutting the cake. Um, and all those aspects of the, uh, the event. Right. There's so many special moments at the reception, the, like you said, the first dance, the father-daughter dance, the couple dance. Do you help them pick out the song for that? We do in one sense. We do have a spot on our website that lists the most popular songs that people choose for father and daughter or bride and groom dances. But we don't try to talk them into certain songs. I really believe that it's 
personal choice for the bride and groom, for example, to pick a song out that's special just to them. And same thing for father and daughter. And I really like it. Uh, a lot of times when we've done uh, weddings, you'll find out that the song that the father has picked out is a song that he used to dance around the room when she, you know she was small or something like that. So, so it's, it it's, it should yeah, be a memory. The, the top important. ten shouldn't be necessarily the, the yeah, pick. Yeah. That's beautiful. And you actually have a way of getting the guests involved, and they get to give you requests. Yeah, we, we do something a little different. We actually have a request menu. So if you think about a uh, menu when you go to a restaurant, which is a list of items to eat, uh, we have a list of items which are songs. And so what we did as a group of DJs, we sit down and make a list of the songs that pack the floor in different genres and decades. And then we put them on a list, it's about 300 songs, and we encourage people to make requests. They don't have to pick off the list, but uh, it certainly encourages them to request music at the event. So letting them pick might be that one song that gets them on the dance floor, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. And I don't need to ask you about the customer feedback because you have won a ton of awards, you and your team. Boast about that a bit, please. Well, uh, we've won the Consumer Choice Awards uh, every year that it's been in Halifax from uh, the first time, which was 2010, right up until this year, uh, which is 2018. And uh, there's also a magazine here in Halifax called The Coast. Um, and they've had a uh, category which is Best Reception DJ. And we've won uh, various uh, categories in that for the entire four years that that's been going. Congratulations, yeah. that's great. Now when you're looking to get a DJ, it can be quite a difference in price. What's the difference between an experienced DJ and a DJ with a deal? Well, you often get what you pay for. Uh, DJs price themselves accordingly, so if they're having trouble getting work, sometimes the price will be low mm. in order for them to get the work. Uh, but one of the things that we try to excel at and offer the bride and grooms is we really try to get involved in even the decor of the, uh, the wedding involving up lighting and decor lighting. Yeah, you've done some different effects in the room, even the room we're in today, haven't you? Yeah, we've done this room lots of times. So we can completely change the color of the room. I always say to the brides that we can make the room their color and uh, it can really give it a, a completely different look. Or an effect. Yeah, we have some uh, effects. We can do a water effect on the ceiling. Uh, we can do uh, projector uh, monogram on the floor, you oh, know, that kind of stuff. That's beautiful. That adds to the, maybe that first dance or some photos and such. Absolutely. Photographers love it. So take us through what a full day would be like for one of you. Uh, it usually starts pretty early. <clears throat> uh, some weddings, I mean, if we're doing an outdoor ceremony, uh, you know, we're setting up at probably 12 o'clock during the day and getting ready for the ceremony and then running back inside and getting all the reception lighting set up and the sound system. Um, and then finally, the wedding would start at three o'clock in the afternoon and then on to the reception at six and then party on till one or two in the morning. One in the morning. <laughs> so it's a full day. It's a very full day. But something you enjoy doing. Absolutely. Uh, I always say I'm pretty lucky I get to hang out with a couple on probably the best day of their life. And be a part of those moments. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, Jeff, so much for coming in the studio. Well, thanks for inviting me. When you go to the Showcase Wedding website, you can now click on his link for Atlantic Pro DJ and build your perfect playlist. Now I have the absolute pleasure of speaking with Liam Hennessy of Applehead Studio. I want to thank you very much, Liam, for getting off your dirt bike, cleaning <laughs> up, and coming in to speak with us. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Please, first and foremost, tell me a little background on that name. How did that come about? Uh, the name Applehead Studio came about from, uh, unfortunately, drunken immaturity. Um, a friend of mine had a little too much to drink one night at a party and uh, kind of found himself asleep in a chair, sat back, and this was before the days of digital cameras. And we started to put things on his head and take pictures with our wind-up film cameras throughout the evening. And one of those pictures that became a print was an apple on his head. And it really just stuck around for years. And when I became a photographer, a friend of mine said, oh, you know, what, what, what is this, Applehead Studio? And the rest is, is history. That's the name that stuck for you. That was the name that stuck, yeah. And I didn't want it to be Liam Hennessy Photography because I knew I wanted something bigger than that, I guess. I knew that I wanted to eventually have a team of people and, and not just be all about me. So first, let's talk a little bit about you. How long have you been doing weddings? Uh, I'm going into my 13th year shooting weddings. You've probably seen a big change in what you've had to shoot and what have people have expected over that time. Yeah, there's been, there's been quite a few. Um, the majority of what we shoot is here on the East Coast, so there's always that, that 
um, overwhelming theme of family and good time and kind of a laid back feeling. And beautiful backdrops. Beautiful backdrops, yeah. The styles and, and trends have changed a lot uh, over the years, but uh, for the most part that, that feeling of community and family and good time has remained. So now tell me about the team. It's not just you that works. Who's a part of your team? So there are uh, about six of us that are full-time wedding photographers. Um, three teams of us, of two. We all shoot in, in pairs. Um, and then we have our producer and studio manager, um, Jenny. And we also run a side business of a photo booth business as well. Is that something you added in not that long ago? It was, yeah. We, we found ourselves uh, providing the service of a photo booth to clients for a couple of years and then just decided to purchase an actual standalone booth and then that became its own side business and then that sort of took off and, and now it's its own entity as well. So. so do you find that the pairs of two, do they have their own identity, do they have their own pictures, their own looks that they go for? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Stephanie and I shoot together and we've been shooting together for I think seven years now, um, and we're kind of like peanut butter and jam, you know, left hand, right hand sort of thing. Um, she's always one step ahead of me. I always know what she's thinking. We don't have to verbally communicate anymore. We just know what each other are doing. Um, Ashley and Richard, they're uh, a couple, and they know they're the, they function the exact same way. Um, they've been shooting for, I think this will be their fifth season. Um, so the same dynamic, they're also very laid back. Um, pretty easy to get along with um, so it works well that when they shoot together and then our other couple uh, Emma and Lauren um, Emma's been shooting for 15 years I think she used to shoot film uh, and she's been shooting with Lauren for about 10 years I think um, so they've really got this left hand right hand thing going on as well which works in a situation where you can't always verbally communicate you just have to get it done just get out you there have to be in get the sync. shot because that's a moment that you can't miss right exactly there's no second tries on weddings right yeah. tell me about your style you seem like a really fun group a fun person what, what's the style of photography that you do yeah I, I always get hung up on the word style it's more just kind of our belief and approach and in, in what we want to bring to a wedding when we're hired to, to shoot a wedding. Um, we tend not to interfere a whole lot. We're very hands off. We really want to capture um, real raw life. So we're as happy shooting perfect makeup in a perfect backdrop as we are shooting, you know, sweaty, hot, running makeup, hair all over the place, dance floor, crazy party. The less than perfect moments to us are sometimes the most perfect moments. They'll actually ask you if you want to get your dress dirty in order to get the shot. <laughs> we, so have, we have done that. That was we a question that, that really stood out. <laughs> yeah, we have. And a lot of people, you know, there's a lot of people that they don't want to go outside or they don't want the wind to blow their hair. No. And, you know, we understand that, but we're, we're kind of, you know, we're up for adventure. And the more, the more, um, the less planned things are, the better they can be sometimes. So. Definitely. So let's get everybody an idea of what your day is like, or your team's day. After you take all those pictures and you go home with them, what do you do? Um, that's kind of when the, the real work starts after that. So we'll come home with anything from six to 10,000 images. Whoa. Um, yeah, it's, we shoot a lot. Um, it's very calculated and we'll kind of, you know, we're really trying to capture the moment. So we'll really work hard at shooting through a moment and, and following through the things that happen on a day. Um, and but, how long is a day for you? Um, we can shoot anywhere from, we offer anywhere from a five hour collection up to a full day. So we've done 18 to 20 hour days. Um, a lot of times that'll be like really big weddings. It's often a travel wedding where we're out till four in the morning and do you have yeah. a breakfast with them? And yeah, you're pretty much. A midnight snack <laughs> yeah, with them? exactly. Yeah, yeah. But but on average, I would say we're about 12 to 14 hours of, of wedding, um, and eight to say eight to 10,000 images, and we usually our keep rate is about 20 percent. So we keep sort of the best of the best, and we have a lot of um, a lot of things that we'll try that might not work out, some blinks or you know some looks that might not look good. So the idea sounded good. We gave it a try, but right, yeah. Exa exactly, yeah. Um, and then so I think on average our clients will get usually about a thousand images in a final collection. Um, and I think we've calculated that it takes about 30 to 35 hours for every wedding. So wedding day and then the post production afterwards. Yeah, and that's important to know. There's a lot of time put in afterwards as well. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's like you know, creating movie, you shoot all the scenes and then you have to cull it and edit it and color it and tone it and, and really put it all together so that when you look at it from beginning to end, it has this comprehensive, it's a story, we're building a story. Mm -hmm. so. And what feedback have you got from the storybooks you've created? 
I think our favorite is when people say, you captured moments that I didn't even know existed. That's the greatest thing because, That's gold. Yeah. you know, we can take you outside for a half an hour in really pretty light and create some beautiful pictures. But when the bride and groom are separate and we're shooting the groom and he's doing something funny that the bride doesn't see and doesn't really get to see until 10 to 12 weeks down the road, you know, that really means a lot. Or what I really like is when um, Mother's Day or Father's Day rolls around and the couples will pull images that we've shot from a wedding day and put those online as like this is my mom or oh, this is my dad. Everyone gets and, to recap in that little moment. Right, exactly. So we shoot, you know, the family is equally as important as the bride and groom. So we want to tell those, those little, um, the inner stories of sort of the big story as well. Perfect. And was there any last thing that you wanted to share with the couple? Tell them why you'd be the best to choose? I don't know that we are the best for everybody. I think that we're definitely right for some people. Um, like I said, we're very hands-off and we don't like to interfere. We really like to just kind of blend in. We tell people that we are your, we're your best friends with cameras for the wedding day and we're just as excited to be there as everybody else. Um, so we just really want to kind of blend in and capture and tell the whole story as it is and let them, let the day unfold. We don't have any preconceived notions. We just kind of go in and shoot it. The good, good, the bad, and, and the ugly. Done. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you so much for coming in studio today. Thanks for having me. So when you go to the Showcase Wedding website, you can click on the link for Applehead Studio, and they have a quiz for you to take to see if they're right for you. Now in studio, I get to speak with three businesswomen who are representing Travel Professional International, and they're going to teach us how they're going to make your wedding day go seamless. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Yeah. First of all, I'm going to speak with you, Carrie. So you have about 15 to 25 years of experience of planning weddings. How do you go above and beyond for the couples? Well, I got married in Jamaica a few years ago, and I planned my own destination wedding. So I understand how important it is to make sure that every little detail goes smoothly. Mm -hmm. I really focus on getting to know the bride and groom so I can find what's most important to them for their wedding and their special day. How do you find those answers? What type of uh, well, during the initial consultation, I sit down with the bride and groom and I present a questionnaire and together we go over the questionnaire to find out things like where they've been before, what they expect for their wedding, how many guests, their budget, there's several different factors and from that questionnaire it makes it easier to narrow down resorts to find the perfect choice for their wedding day. So a lot of brides and grooms think that they can plan a wedding themselves, but I think having a travel agent on your side could really help, especially if the, something happens or life goes unexpected. How, does, how do you help with that? Well, when you have a travel agent to work with, you don't need to worry about things that could go wrong. Um, we help to make the process very stress-free. Um, for example, cancellations, weather, documentation, entry requirements into a country. There's many factors to take into consideration. So if you have a travel agent to help you with all of these things, you don't need to worry and wonder if everything is taken care of. We will make sure that everything is perfect for you for your wedding day. Oh, you tie up all the loose ends before they even get there. Exactly. Now, Jeannie, you're going to tell us how do you pick a travel agent? How do you find the right person to plan your wedding? Uh, go to the wedding shows. Definitely uh, talk to the travel agents that are there. They specialize in destination weddings and honeymoons and um, also a lot of referrals if you have a lot of friends a lot of college uh, people actually are getting married nowadays and um, so the friends definitely referrals are definitely a great way to do um, to find out exactly how they did their destination wedding that's right we really can sell to other women if we have the great experience and that's going to carry on or if they've yeah. done vacations with you before they can come back for that if you're experienced absolutely yeah like a lot of it is um, just talking to other people and um, being you want to be comfortable with the travel agent that you're working with like a year and a half it's going to be a long process and um, I would say as well, uh, Travel Professionals International, that's who we're associated with. We have over 800 agents across Canada and um, we're all independent agents. So we're there for you, uh, say in a 24 hours, seven days a week, at least I am anyway. And um, so when you get people, guests from coming from say Vancouver, there's a four hour difference. You know, I'm up at nine o'clock at night and I will actually take the call. Um, whereas a lot of the times, like say uh, for a store that's open only nine to five, they're not going to be able to take that call. So, uh, so you need someone who's going to convenient everybody in the group. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And it's uh, uh, just a travel agent. Definitely, absolutely get a travel agent. They're going to save you money and they're going to really be there for you when you when you really need a travel agent. And that with you ladies, there's no extra fees either. So why wouldn't you? 
Absolutely, yeah. It's um, it will save you money. I guarantee it, and a lot of heartache and just thing. Let the travel agent do their professional um, part of it, and um, I think that's the key. And just go and have fun. You're going to get married. The yeah. bride and the groom are going to have fun. You don't have to worry about all that stress about people traveling. The other stuff. No. Now, destination weddings are usually thought of at the beach and the sand. And how do you choose from all the Caribbean islands or any of the islands to go to? Oh, wow. Well, I actually, um, I'm actually originally from the Bahamas. Grew up in the Caribbean islands, and so um, you're a little. Partial. Oh, I am. Like when I fly in, it's amazing. I get goosebumps. It's just it makes me feel like I'm flying home. But um, you will find that uh, there's several different islands all over. Like the Caribbean is a perfect place to get married. And um, a couple of great spots, uh, Great Exuma in the Bahamas actually is a really beautiful spot. Sandals has Sandals Emerald Bay there. The beach is such a wow factor. The water is amazing. Uh, there's a couple of other spots, say um, Foul Key, a little bit different. You can have your own island. And um, yeah, it's just, it's amazing. Like all the stuff that's out there, a lot of people don't realize it. Uh, general, like say more Southern islands, um, Barbados, Antigua, St. Lucia, and Jamaica, um, one of my favorites as well too, a uh, great spot. All of those are great spots to get married. If you're looking for something, a special honeymoon, say afterwards as well, over the water bungalows in Jamaica and St. Lucia. Sandals has a beautiful spots there as well too. So you don't have to choose just one, you can choose two. Oh yeah, you know what, they do island hopping too. So you could get married in say, in one of the islands and then island hop over to another island for your honeymoon. What a beautiful choice. Yeah, it's amazing actually. So now, Amanda, you're going to share with us why do you think people choose to have a destination wedding? People choose to have a destination wedding because it's very budget friendly. Uh, they can go and really spend some quality time with their guests. Destination weddings turn into more of a family reunion. I was married in the Caribbean myself, and it was really, it was about the whole week. It's not just a 20 minute ceremony in the afternoon. It was really a. It's it the excitement fantastic. of everybody getting ready and going yes. on vacation and going on excursions. And yes, yeah, it was fantastic. Making it more than a day. Now, when brides and grooms come to meet with you initially, should they be telling you about the guests, maybe that they need special attention or different dietary restrictions? For sure. We need to know if anyone has a mobility issue it's in regards to what resort we pick. Um, we also need to know dietary restrictions. Sandals and Beaches deal with that fantastic. Uh, the chef will come out and meet with you. They'll cater to you and make sure everybody is comfortable and well looked after. Because it is, it's the bride and groom, but it's also about their guests being comfortable. There could be some people that are kind of lenient about going away on vacation. Um, how do you help out with that? Beach has actually just opened the first Caribbean uh, autistic friendly camp for kids. Uh, they also introduced Julia, a Sesame Street character on site, and she has autism herself. That's exciting. That must give a lot of, and you have some background in that, don't you? It is. I've just completed a certified autism travel professional course, so I can really help you pair up with, with the right resort for your fit. Yeah, so right resort for the family, like you said, mobility or stairs. Yes. That's important questions. Is that something that they would share with you right away at the initial meeting? Definitely they should. We should go over any needs or wants, um, including special needs, and then we can pair you with a proper, proper resort that uh, has less stairs or a better, uh, better all the right chef on site. Well, I want to thank all three of you for coming into studio today and sharing the information you have. Thank, thank, you. thank you. Now at the Showcase Wedding website, you can click on the link that they've specially made for you to start planning your special destination wedding. Thank you for watching this episode of Showcase Wedding. I'm your host, Rebecca Martell. We want to send a big thank you out to One Day Affair Wedding Decor Design and McFarland Events for setting up our studio here in Halifax, Nova Scotia. To all of the newly engaged brides and grooms, we want to wish you felicitations, congratulations, mazel tov.